May 1st, that's when Tennessee should have enough vaccines for all adults. That's according to the state's top doctor. Vaccine appointments are full in Metro, but in some rural counties, doses are literally sitting on the shelves. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald spoke to the state health commissioner. Hannah, what did she say about the hesitation to get a shot? That this is not what the state expected. In some areas, Vicki and Carrie, there are 80% of the appointments going unfilled. Dr. Lisa Pierce he says she wants to see excitement across the state and fully vaccinated people could help Tennessee get to that point. You know, it's really important to tell your story when you get vaccinated because I, we understand that people don't trust the government and we understand that there's sometimes questions about um, about vaccines that they don't get sufficient answers to. But when they see family and friends get vaccinated, they think, OK, I can do this. Right now in rural West Tennessee, the health department is seeing only 20% of appointments filling up. In East Tennessee, about half of the state's available appointments are taken. Things are much different in Middle Tennessee, where 80 to 100% of available appointments are taken every day. Now to get back to normal, more people need to be vaccinated, but Dr. Lisa Piercy said she is also considering the economy too. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of excitement in the air. It's springtime, it's warmer, people are vaccinated. We have to kind of tell them, let's moderate a little bit. Let's, is this not fling the, fling the doors wide open? Uh, but I am hopeful that we're gonna get there soon, hopefully by early summer. Once again, the date that you can circle on your calendar is May 1st. That is when Tennessee believes all adults will be able to get a vaccine. Making this possible, larger shipments will start heading our way starting the week of March 29th. I'm Hannah McDonald. Back to you. Thanks, Hannah. Right now, about 1.3 million Tennesseans have received at least one dose of the COVID vaccine. That's a little over 17% of the state's population. Davidson County is slightly ahead of the state average with close to 20% of the population vaccinated.